Hello my crafty friends, it's Sharon Luska here from My Crafty Greetings. Now I wanted to show you a quick little video today on a tip that's going to save you some frustration, some money, and probably using something that you already have in your stash already. First I wanted to give a big big thank you to those who have used my affiliate links. That helps me so much. And thank you also for subscribing, thumbs up and commenting. It keeps my crafty mojo going and helps my videos get out there. I'll leave the links below. So hopefully you have some of this adhesive product at home, Mac tack, transfer tape. Maybe you bought some of the Cricut vinyl that is for making stencils. And I know that the dollar store has its own kind of brand of book cover product that's very similar to this. Any of this will do, absolutely any of it. Now I will say this aside though, if it's something like packing tape, too strong, it's going to rip your paper. Whatever it is that you do have in your stash though, just give it a try. See if you can stick it to your paper and peel it fairly easily off and then you are away to the races. Now the next thing you're going to need to get out is your mat and hopefully it hasn't lost all its sticky, preferably if it's in new shape. And I don't actually own an adhesive mat, <laughs> so I have an imposter here, it's called Boobis McDrool. And uh, Boobis is a brand name that I do drool over, let me tell you, <laughs> so. Okay, I'm outside now, so please excuse the outside noises. Whole point being is when you get your mat and you go ahead and use it, you're gonna get ink on it and little bits of stuff and then it's gonna lose its sticky. So how do we protect that? Well, we're gonna cut ourselves a cover that's gonna go over this, kind of like a surrogate sticky to attach to the sticky of this mat. And the whole point being is you wanna make sure that it's a tiny bit bigger than the sticky area of your actual mat. Now, I had a bubble in my piece here. Do not do this. Do not take your sticky sheet off of this paper because once you try and put this down, it is going to be a horrible, horrible choice. <laughs> and you can see here, I had no control. So once you have it still stuck to the backing paper or release paper, line it up with your sticky mat so none of the sticky is showing. And then go ahead and just gently roll it down and make sure there's no bubbles by using uh, something flat and hard. I am using one of my, um, what are they, for the little mini cutters from Tim Holtz. Yeah, so cutting plate, there you go. Use the cutting plate or a ruler, or if you have some fancy Cricut tools, whatever you've got, take it and just make sure you burnish that down nice. Now the whole reason that you wanna make sure that this is a tiny bit bigger than the actual sticky portion of your mat is you want to make sure that once you've taken off the protective cover and you've gotten this portion messed up that you can still go ahead and uh, take this off and you can see there's your sticky and this is why i'm forewarning you oh so here's the you can pull it back off part so once it's messed up peel it off and add a new cover to it and you're back in the game again now, whatever surrogate sticky sheet you've chosen, and of course we've already discussed picking something that is not too sticky for your paper that it would rip it. You want something that when you stick it down your paper, it can be removed. But you can go ahead and stick your paper to it and do your regular ink blending. Get your ink on it. This is not gonna seep through. It's not gonna damage your mat underneath. You can use your gorgeous Gina K stencils. Isn't this one amazing? I love it so much. I've got links to it down below <laughs> and your links are what helped me bring you these kinds of videos because of course these are unsponsored videos they're just common sense a little bit of help please do buy sticky mats just don't buy them as a replacement where they're going to end up in the garbage you know I would love to see if you want to have five sticky mats for all kinds of different jobs in your craft room that is awesome please go ahead and support I think Brutus Monroe was the one that originally came up with the sticky mat idea obviously Cricut first but you know for a craft room size Brutus Monroe Bravo brilliant guy so you can see here I've made a mess now I went to the sink and just washed it just with water I rinsed it off again this is our surrogate sheet <laughs> and tapping the water off do not dry it with your dish towel although that's tempting <laughs> it's not gonna help the sticky surrogate that you have on here now, if it does get too messed up, you know, go ahead and pull this off and add another sheet. Now, you may have that other company's um, one. Mine is your tangy buttercup with the grid lines. 
you maybe like, might like to use this in a stamp positioner, hint, hint. And yes, the sticky goes from edge to edge. So I'm just gonna show you a quick little tip here. If you want to be able to um, cover this and protect it, because yes, the stamping and some of those inks, especially the pigment ones, are gonna be much harder on these mats. They're less easy to wash off and the oils do affect the adhesive. Take a tiny piece of tape and you're going to stick it to the corner just so that you have one teeny tiny corner that does not have adhesive. Now you're gonna go ahead and apply your surrogate sheet of sticky to this mat pretty much exactly the same way we did to the Boobus McDrool. <laughs> and you're going to um, take your time lining it up and then roll it out. Now you can cut this so that it is exactly the same size and if it becomes oversized, don't worry about it, just trim the extra off. Now I'm just smoothing it out with my hands. I will go over it and burnish it with something flat, but uh, that's gonna give you all of the workability of the other mat and it's gonna give you that protection and cut this extra stuff off. Okay, so here's a top tip. Also, when you're going to peel off the um, protective cover, make sure you do it on the opposite corner from where you've put your little tape corner because otherwise you run the risk of peeling your plastic back off your mat. So just keep that in mind. Watch for that little corner of tape that you added. You can always pull that off later on if you need to. Keep both protective sheets from your mat and the adhesive layer that you've added to your mat and use the uh, protective sheet that belongs to the adhesive that you've attached to your mat. So here's another confusing tip. Some of you may not understand this. Some of you may, excuse me if it's uh, hard to understand. So I've got the sticky side of my mat down and I've got some tape facing up. And I've added the tape to that. Now I'm folding this around so that now I have a rim folded around my mat that's sticky. So you can see the benefit of this. <laughs> it sticks down now. Now if you did it so that you cut enough around both ends and tape both ends back onto the backing of the mat, you would have two ends that are sticky that would hold it in a positioner or on the top of your desk extremely well. There's that corner. If you need to remove this because it's gotten nasty, your sticky is gonna be perfect underneath. You can take that off and put it in the garbage. Do try and wash it though. Try and keep it for as long as you can. We do need to save this planet. <laughs> and uh, also saving those pennies is important too. I'll put some tips and tricks down in the drop down box as well as my affiliate links. Thank you, thank you in advance for using them. Regardless of what you're buying, they always work. And Scrappy Tails has just dropped their new nautical release. It is absolutely gorgeous. So the Scrappy Tails uh, button will be there. And uh, I'm working on a new technique. It is quite different. And I'm hoping you'll all join me when I finally get finished doing the video for that. I'm just in the working stages. It is completely new and completely different. And I think you're gonna love it. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me. Have an awesome day. And I hope you get some time to get crafty. And here's a few more videos if you're looking for a lazy afternoon. Bye.